guys. Hey guys. So, I know I haven't made a video for at least three weeks. Probably more now. But, this one is one I wanted to do. And I don't know why I wanted to do it, but I did. Um, excuse my hair. Um, I got out of the shower and I put it up. And it's kind of just chilling. The glasses, I just wanted to wear them. So, today's video is... I kind of want to start a series, but I don't know if I should. So, comments below tell me if I should make it a series. But this is going to... This is... Roman names or names from Roman mythology that I personally feel like could fit in with current trends. There are some, there are a few names on the list that are pretty out there, but I still think would fit in. Um, and I'll tell you why I think they'd fit in. But I'm just going to go on and get started. If I look that way, it's because that's where my list is. Also, don't mind the stockings. We still haven't taken down our Christmas decorations, so yeah. Okay, I'm going to start with the boys. There are five names for boys and five for girls. I'm only starting with the boys because that's the first... Yeah, I wrote down boys' names first, so that's what we're going to do. And I will leave the spellings in the description below so that you guys can check that out. Okay, so the first name is Romulus. And the reason I picked that is because it's... I see it as a place name because it is where the city of Rome actually got its name. So, yeah, that's why I picked it. Um, it I couldn't find a meaning, but it was one of the founders of the city of Rome. The other one is Remus, but I didn't put that on here because the other names that are on the list. <laughs> Speaking of, this next one is a very, very, very bold choice. And it is Vulcan. And Vulcan in Roman mythology is basically their version of Hephaestus because when the Romans took over Greece and they adopted the mythology, they changed the names around. But, and Vulcan is their name for Hephaestus. And Vulcan means god of fire. The reason I picked this name is because at least in my opinion, when a movie comes out with a certain, and there's like a certain character with a name or name of a place or something else, that will rise or either exponentially or gradually. So it's a movie name because of Star Trek. So that's why I picked it. The next one is Tatius or Tatius. I don't know where I found where I found the name, it said it was pronounced Tatius, so that's what I'm going with. And it means King of the Sabines, or Sabines, I don't know. But the reason I picked it is because of Tate is rising-ish. It was rising and then it started falling, and I'm not sure where it is now. But I believe Tate is on American Horror Story, and that's why I picked it. Yeah, that's why I picked it. My dog is over there, too, and my cat is up here. Uh, on. There's another por portion of this couch, and he's lying on top of it. So, yeah. Anyways, that's the third name. The fourth name is Evander, which means good man. I picked this because it has the name Evan in it. And Evan, while it is going down, is still talked about and still, as far as I know, loved. So... That's why that's on there. I've been burping like crazy lately and I don't know why. I've also got ginger ale right here. So, yeah, we'll see. My cat's being cute. Um, and the last name I have for boys is, as far as I know, it's pronounced Italis or Italis. And I picked this because it's a place name. The name Italis literally means of Italy. Um, yeah, thanks for that. Sorry, my AC unit just decided it wanted to turn on. Um, yeah. The reason I picked Italis is because it's a place name. 
It is where the country of Italy got its name. So, yeah. And that's it for boys. On to the girls. The first name, it first or the first girl name I have is Bologna. And the reason I picked it is because the first four letters are Bell. And Bell names are really popular, whether it be like Isabella, Annabelle, or Arabelle, or Isabella, Annabella, Arabella. Those names are really rising. I think, I believe, no, I know Isabella is in the top 10. So let me know how you feel about the name Bologna, because I personally cannot see myself using it, although it is a very beautiful name. And it means, or two meanings I found for it was to fight and goddess of war. The next name, I don't know how you feel about, or I don't know how you feel about it, but I do have my reasons behind picking it, and it is Lavenia, which means woman of Rome. I picked it because um, it, for me, the first place I saw it was The Prince and the Pauper by Mark Twain in sixth grade. And then I read another book about Johnny Tremaine, and I believe Johnny Tremaine's mother's name was Lavinia. So it's a literary name and a historical name. So that's why I picked it. The next name is actually really, as far as I know, it's it's like in the top 1,000. I don't know where it's ranked, but it is Diana. Um, I picked it because of Princess Diana. So there's the royalty connection there. And it means heavenly or divine, which I think is a beautiful meaning. <laughs> My cat is like sliding a little bit. It's like ever so slightly, but he's still sliding. <laughs> and he's asleep too, so. Yeah, the spelling that I have, I know is in the top 1,000. I don't know about other spellings, but yeah. The next name sounds a little weird, but yeah, and I found two different pronunciations for it. The first one is the Spanish pronunciation, and for the, the name, I almost said it. The name, is, as far as I know, is a Spanish name, but I saw that it pops up in Roman mythology, so that's why I picked it. And it is, that's not actually why I picked it, but that's why it's on the list. But it is Felicitas or Felicitas. Felicitas is the Spanish pronunciation. Felicitas, as far as I know, would, or, well, not as far as I know. But it's how I would pronounce it based on Italis and that kind of thing. And it means good luck. And I picked it because it sounds a lot like Felicity. And it looks a lot like the name Felicity. And I feel like the name Felicity is going to rise because Ginger Dunger Vuolo and her husband Jeremy Vuolo welcomed a baby girl in July of last year named Felicity. And celebrity baby names, depending on the name, will either fall or they'll rise. But most of the time they rise. So that's why I picked that one. And you can use it as an alternative to Felicity if you want to or just liking the name and the meaning. And the last name on the list and the last girl's name is Astrea. It's actually a Greek name that, as far as I know, was one of those names that didn't change at all when the Romans took over Greece and the Greeks and stuff. And, cha and they changed the names of a lot of their gods and goddesses. And it means, and Astrea means star. <laughs> He's thinking his paw out like one of them. Uh, and Astrea was the Roman goddess of justice and I believe fertility. I could be wrong. But as far as I know, it is at least the Roman goddess. She was at least the Roman goddess of justice. So if you want like a name with that kind of meaning, you can go for it. If Or if you're into names that mean star, you can go for it. But the reason I put it on the list is because to me it sounds like Alea, and I've noticed that Alea has been popping up. So, yeah. <sighs> and Astrea is the name on the list that I can see myself using the most. So, there's a fun fact for you guys. Um, yeah. That is the end of the video. I hope you guys liked it. 
And again, I felt like I was going to burp, but I didn't. So yeah, that is the end of this video. I hope you guys liked it. Don't forget to tell me which names you liked the most in the comments below and also sound off on names in this list that you liked or didn't like and let me know why. And I'll see you for the next video. Bye.